Hello there, welcome back to another little Sparty vlog. Today is our first full park day since getting here this trip. We are at Universal. We're going to just kind of do some Universal stuff. No real plan um, as of right now for the morning. We're gonna go ahead over to Gringotts, go kind of rope drop that. And there's also the Mardi Gras kind of festival going on here at Universal. So we, we may or may not kind of pop over to some of the food and beverage booths that they have. But yeah, we're just gonna have a Universal day. And our legs are very sore. Oh boy, yeah, the movement has been very slow this morning. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see how we uh, hold up for the whole day. Yes, this is also day one after the half marathon. So yeah. Bear with us, but let's go. Becky, what am I gonna do? There's no paper maps here anymore. Yeah, no paper map for you to take and then never look at ever again. I love looking at them years after, Becky. Seeing how the parks change. I'm sure there's other people that enjoy paper maps just as much as I do. So Mardi Gras does have some free live concerts. And here are the acts. So some pretty uh, popular names here. Near uh, the race through New York starring Jimmy Fallon, we can already see some Mardi Gras food booths along with a Becky. But yeah, so they have over a dozen uh, food booths based off of different countries. So this one's uh, Puerto Rico. This one I think is just New Orleans Mardi Gras theme where you can get some beignets. Beignets, Becky. Espresso martinis, too. Does it come with a little baby inside? Louis Armstrong. Some guy who's cooking a gator, a fish, a crawfish. <laughs> a little strange. They look so happy to be getting cooked. <laughs> So it is a Monday, so we're hoping that the crowd level is going to stay relatively light so we can get on a lot of the rides with little to no weight. It's also the week after President's Day week. Correct, so hopefully a lot of the uh, vacationers left over the weekend. I know last, like early last evening and kind of throughout the night as well as this morning I heard a lot of suitcases rolling at the hotel. Yeah, so hopefully that's a good sign. Uh, the park is only open until 7 o'clock tonight, so usually that means that they're not anticipating high crowds or the park will be open later. So, we'll see how it goes. We are here at pretty much rope dropped it. Pretty close. We got in the park like quarter after 9. Right, and the park opened at 9. So we got a full day ahead of us. And we came here early to rope drop the Fast and the Furious Supercharged Ride for family. That's a lie. It's probably like the worst attraction known to man, or woman, or family. <laughs> so we've made it to the London waterfront. A lot of our Universal days are almost like the same. <laughs> what do you mean? I feel like we do the same thing on mostly all of our Universal days by like going to Harry Potter World first and then we eat at Leaky Cauldron. Because it's a system that works, people. Yes. It's not broke, don't fix it. Correct. Diagon Alley is a little hidden, as it should be. I actually know some people that came to Universal and did not even know where it was and walked right by it. Never even visited it. Yep. Gringotts Bank. And ride Escape from Gringotts. It's only a 15 minute wait. Not bad, not bad at all. We escaped from Gringotts and now we're going to the Leaky Cauldron. Okay, we hobbled into the Leaky Cauldron for breakfast. Um, we got a, well, I guess we'll say what we got when we finally get it. But I for got something new that I haven't gotten. Yeah. But you did get a hot butter, right? Which you get all the time. Well, I want just one of each butter beers today. <laughs> hot, cold, frozen. I got a frozen one. I'm ready for at least three brain freezes. Yeah, we, it's like the first time that we got seen it, not like off to the side of the Leaky Cauldron. No, the Leaky Cauldron's actually right there. Right there. That means we have to take turns stirring the pot. Be careful, it's already leaking. 
So our food has arrived. I got the egg and leek and mushroom pasty. Is it pasty, pasty? What's the correct way? I don't know. P-A-S-T-Y. Any Brits out there, please correct me. Uh, it came, comes with some fruit, quite a bit of different fruit. So you got watermelon, grapes, honeydew, cantaloupe, some sort of orange and then grapefruit, and some breakfast potatoes. We also got a side of scrambled eggs, and for Becky's meal, she got the pancake breakfast, which comes with croissant. <laughs> Three pancakes, two bacon, two sausage. Boom. Becky says she's gonna blow my mind right now. Oh, look at that. She's putting the side of eggs inside of the croissant. This is revolutionary. Somebody write this down. No way! No way! No! No! Here they are. Cut them. Cue the uh, UFC meme of them all going crazy at the desk. <laughs> Whoa! Delicious. So Becky gave me a slice of her bacon, but there's the uh, little cross section of the egg, mushroom, and leek pasty. Looks pretty good, it's like in a biscuit. So just finished up breakfast at the Leaky Cauldron in uh, Diagon Alley, it was very delicious. Definitely glad I tried something new. Uh, egg, mushroom, leek, uh, pasty, pasty, whatever it's pronounced. Almost tasted like my mom's like stuffed mushroom filling, so I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so I definitely recommend going to Leaky Cauldron for breakfast, and now, we are going to head over to Men in Black, and Becky thinks she's going to beat me, even though she never beats me at Men in Black. So uh, we're going to head over there. On the way over to Men in Black from Diagon Alley, there's a NOLA photo op. New Orleans, Louisiana. I continue to remain the undefeated champ. I was only 30,000 behind. 30,000. <laughs> Becky cheated. I did not cheat. Did not cheat. I will say I did make a major comeback in just the last like minute of the ride, but now we're gonna go head over to ET. Mantra for today, as stated here on the door: feet don't fail me now. It's not so my feet, my quads don't fail. <laughs> quads don't fail us now. Quads don't fail us now. And one thing about Universal rides is that there's usually a lot of stairs involved, at least more so than like. Any oh, I know. We looked at the stairs at at the bottom of uh, Green Gods. Green Gods. We were like, oh, sugar. And then Men in, and then Men in Black has stairs. <laughs> not not many though. No, but it's like. It's, it's enough. <laughs> Going towards ET, the Canada booth is open. The Canada Mardi Gras booth. They're currently working on DreamWorks land. They're building my home. <laughs> <laughs> They're building Becky's home. The swamp. It's gonna be a uh, Shrek meet and greet. They're redoing the Woody Woodpecker roller coaster to a Trolls theme. It'll be a nice addition. A little bit more up to uh, this generation's IP. Oh, 100%. And we got to wear our uh, Shrek outfits when we go. Shrek. Come when it's open. Yeah. ET is a 50 minute wait. We don't think it's gonna be 50 minutes, but we will time it out. Becky, start a timer. Start a timer. Okay, Becky. My interplanetary passport, and I said a different name than my actual first name. Let's see if he says it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I tried having E.T. say Spongebob, but I think he just said friend instead. Sad. Also, Becky, how long did we wait for E.T.? Oh, it was like around 20 minutes. Yeah, 20, 25 minutes, so not a 50 minute wait. So after E.T., we, have, we are slowly making our way towards the front of the park, and Marcus is going to get a little nanky nanky here at Central Park Crips. He's going to get the Banana Foster Creme Brulee Crepe. They're using it as like the France. Gras, so. <laughs> Viva la France. Yeah, so they normally have crepes here all year round. Usually some savory ones and sweet ones. 
but it looks like they got rid of the savory options right now and replaced it with a banana. Banana Foster is kind of like uh, great. All right, that was probably a much longer wait than I thought it would be, but we have the Banana Foster's Creme Brulee Crip. Well, they made, you know, fresh for you, so. And they even uh, used a little torch and, uh, I don't know, is the right word, caramelize some of the cream that's on top? It brulee. Brulee. where the term brulee comes from. All right, are we ready for the most glorious food review? It's almost like banana pudding inside of a crepe with, with actual bananas too. It's delicious. It's a... <laughs> are there any I other flavors? Is it just... You can see her face behind the camera. Is there any other flavors? Is it just bananas or cinnamon, sugar? Just bananas and sugar. It like, tastes like banana pudding almost. Okay. Yeah. I love it because I like bananas. What's your rating? Uh, if you like bananas like me, it's a 9 out of 10. Okay. If you don't like bananas like Becky, you probably hate it. Yeah, I'm not a banana person. And there's no like chocolate or anything in it. It'd be good with like peanut butter. There's no peanut butter in it either. Bananas Foster's consumed, and now we're gonna go Watch the Jason Bourne Stuntacular. Yeah, we kind of mapped out the rest of the day. We got like five and a half hours left. Bourne Stuntacular, Tribute Store, Villain Con slash Minion Cafe. I go ride uh, Mummy while you ride uh, Villain Con over and over again until your heart's desire. Then we head over to Islands, Velocicoaster, maybe Spider Man Single Rider for you at time, um, Pizza Skull, Pizza Pretzel somewhere in there too. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. So we're heading to Jason Bourne Stuntacular. Scooby and the gang are dressed up for Mardi Gras. That's so cute. They look awesome. And the base, best stage show in all of Orlando. And I'll stand on that. If you haven't seen this, please come watch it. It's really, really, really good. <laughs> The Born Stuntacular was stunt -rific. And now we're gonna head into the Tribute Store, which is right across the way from the exit of Born. Right here. Huh? Just showing them where the uh, Tribute Store is. Tribute Store and River Cruises, so this is for the Mardi Gras. Look at that. The Mardi Gras pin for this year. 2024 Universal Studios Mardi Gras. $11. May have to get that. Black white reactive t-shirt. Pass holder merch, a mug, another t-shirt, turvis. Cup koozie. Oh, you can even buy like masquerade masks. Wow. How much do one of these run? They look really, this is like really pretty. It's gonna run ya. Yeah. No Don't price. Know. No price. Oh, this black mask here is uh, $45. That's not too bad. Walk through here. Universal always does a great job with the tribute stores. They're always so detailed. Spoopy cat Mardi Gras hats. <laughs> yeah, Mardi Gras beads if you don't catch any in the parade. Or if you just want some that are a little bit more detailed than the, it's just the standard colors you would catch. Take it on water, Kate. <laughs> 
This is cool. There's a gator on that shirt. It's like a magnet or a pin? Oh, it's a magnet. Nola Voodoo, you get a Voodoo doll. Keychain, $15. There it is, baby. He's cute little croc. As I was gonna say, he's cute. Hey, this is a plushie, and they also have a. Um, I think it's a popcorn bucket. Oh, it is a pop. Okay, so that is a popcorn bucket you could buy. Right, and his hat and his cardigraph beads light up. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, and this spinning wheel thing. Some black light. Yep. That'd be it for the tribute store. Wasn't as like jam packed full of merch as what uh, other tribute stores are, but uh, Mardi Gras is a, I mean, it's not very merch heavy like event, I would say. Yeah, I'd say it's like a smaller event. As compared to like. Stuff they on at the park, so. Yeah, it's compared to like Christmas or something like that, which is very heavy. But uh, now we're going to Minion Land? Minions! Minion Land. We're going into Minion Land. It's right at the uh, entrance of the park. First land you really go through. And we're going to do Becky's favorite ride. The <laughs> Villain Con Minion Blast. But she is a minion. The only thing that disqualifies me from being a minion is I don't like bananas. <laughs> we are now inside of like the Comic Con Villain Con area. Since there's not much line here, we have full reign just to walk around. Please leave your weapons here. Here's the villain con lost and stolen. No problem. You can create multiple. There's bananas in there. So you see malicious motors. Outfit your ride. Look at those rims. Good ornaments. And this is the unlawful outfitters. Where you see the Eliminator X, which is the weapon you'll be using in the ride. Look at that bazooka. Cookie box. Mystery guest. Uh oh. Just like an actual con, they got some uh, like schedules and different rooms. Uh, some keynote speakers. There's like a map of the room. They got corrupt companions. Like this little uh, crocodile here. Piranhas. Some delicious pet food. <laughs> Here's some devious destinations. Fredonia. Lair BNB. Volcanoes. Pickpocket this Face block. Then the last one before we head into Vicious Six is the Diabolique. I can't even say that. Like Clinique, but Diabolique. Oh, I can't even say that. I stick at saying that. Diabolique. Di Diabolique. going to go into the Minion Cafe. We have, we've actually eaten here before, 
during our Christmas vlog series, but that video hasn't come out yet. This one, this series is coming out first yeah. for most of it. We started the Christmas stuff, did about like four or five videos, but now we're into this and we figured might as well uh, do some more recent things because I don't know if people are going to be too interested in the Christmas stuff come March. So for a specialty beverage, I got the antidote, which is basically banana soda with banana whipped cream. Yes, I am an adult. It comes with a cheese ring. So we just got our uh, meals too. Thank you, got a, uh, the cheese steak Shaking. ray. Steak and steaks. <laughs> steak and cheese ray sandwich. Yes. Comes with a little. Uh, I got minion pie tots, but you can also get um, banana chips. Yeah, it comes with a cheese little pipe pet, your, your cheese ray. I got minion tots with a little pressed minion <laughs> PB and J, which is just an encrustable. That's pressed with a minion with a little baby banana. So first impressions, this is just an encrustable that's pressed, but it's warm. And I usually don't have encrustables that are warm, so I'm enjoying that. Minion tots, Becky's already had a couple. They're almost like a uh, like mashed potato inside of it, more than like a tater tot. So a little difference there. But that cheesesteak ray sandwich, very good. I highly recommend that. Yes. We're in the New York section of the park. Right near Transformers. Mummy's right there. Got the King and Queen of Mardi Gras. And at the New Orleans booth, there's a fried green tomato pool boy that I'm gonna get. Here's some of the other menu items. Lettuce, onions, pickles, and Cajun rumbleade served with Cajun kettle chips. There is my fried green tomato pole boy with some Cajun kettle chips. Looks pretty good. Okay, so I got the uh, the band playing in the background, but let's give the uh, Cajun kettle chips a try. They have a lot of seasoning on them. They're really good. I probably got like eight kettle chips in total. Delicious. Not like spicy in a hot aspect. It's very, very seasoned. Let me try the uh, oh boy here. Fried green tomatoes. The fried green tomatoes are very, very hot, like temperature wise. So it's very fresh. And the tomato inside them is not like mushy at all, which is very good. And the breading has like a nice crisp fry on it. This is very good. It's a little steep at uh, like $13 for this, but for someone like who lives up north who doesn't get like fried green tomatoes like anywhere, I would, I would get this again if I come down here for Mardi Gras. Here's the band. Play in the background. A lot of the Mardi Gras performers are coming out. They got beads in hand. They're probably going to pass them out. Back up with Becky after uh, I rode the mummy and had that poor boy, and she got a little Tim. I leave her alone for like 25 minutes, <laughs> and she comes back with that. So now we're gonna head over to Islands of Adventure uh, to hopefully ride Velocicoaster if it's not too much of a wait. Get another butter beer, pizza pretzel, maybe pizza pizza skull. Yes. yes. Maybe Spider-Man? I don't know, we're running out of time. We only have like a couple hours left. And they, they do have a special uh, Mardi Gras parade, but that's in the park that we're in now. So may or may not come back for it, depending on timing. Are you gonna be heartbroken if we don't watch the Mardi Gras parade? No. No, she's not gonna be heartbroken. So we'll see, how, we'll see what the night brings. 
We have and made it to Velocicoaster. Where you can put your food in. I guess the doctors also use that, which is fitting for some puppies. It's time to put our stuff in a locker now, so see you after the ride. One thing we've never done here that I want to is the raptor encounter. I think Becky would probably be scared of it, but I think it would be something cool to do. Oh, Velocicoaster, I love you. Velocicoaster is a great ride, and I stand by it that it's my favorite coaster in Orlando right now. It is so thrilling, and it is the best. It's worth an annual pass for me, just for that ride. I hustled all the way over from Velocicoaster. The park's only open for another hour. We're gonna get a vacation. It's not focused. Before the park's closed. Yeah, so we're gonna do Spider Man. You got a pizza, pizza pretzel. They closed at 5, so while yeah. I was in line for Velocicoaster, she was able to get that. Yeah, I, I recorded stuff on my phone. Oh, no way! Wow! So, and then maybe we'll go get a butterbeer to end the night. It doesn't look like a face that uh, wants a butterbeer down tonight. Uh, I saw that she uh, started a butterbeer count on her Instagram. <laughs> and so <laughs> far it's only one. That one. <laughs> so, uh, that's gonna be Spider-Man. Right. Right. We'll let you think about it. Okay. Spider-Man done. Oh, there's the whole poster. <laughs> I wear tie, but nobody wears that. <laughs> So we would have time to go to the Wizarding World to get another butterbeer, but with that uh, banana minion drink, the butterbeer I had this morning, kind of like sugared out right now. That stuff, you press some stuff down. Yeah. So. The butterbeer count will remain. Uno. <laughs> uno. But uh, like the park's about to close in about like 20 minutes or so. So, so we're just gonna Uber back to Disney Springs and then I think maybe we'll get something to eat there. I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna do at Disney Springs. We'll just wing it. We have made it to the Springs. AKA <laughs> the Sprongs. <laughs> so what I didn't know, and Becky probably knew because she set up the Uber, is that there's a drop off at the west side of the springs. I thought everything just funneled to the marketplace. Supplies, shorty. <laughs> so. Becky did not know because Becky just plugged the springs <laughs> in. <laughs> yes, and then. That was it. Oh, uh, yeah. And Becky's very good at geography. <laughs> This is the same Becky that in our winter or Christmas <laughs> vlog series put Universal like Aventura or so, like Adventure. I put Aventura. And then it was gonna send us to some like apartment complex <laughs> and she's like, oh, are we supposed to go here instead? Like five minutes away everyone, from the actual Aventura. I kept making comments about this place that we were going to. So I double checked it and I was like, oh my God, I put the wrong address. But uh, thankfully Uber lets you change the destination. Mid, mid, mid trip. Mid trips. <laughs> and it was a shorter ride, so that was nice. Yeah. So actually, the west side is where Cirque du Soleil is. So now we have to walk the entire way, Becky? Huh? <laughs> now we have to walk the entire way? I'm sorry. 
Well, I don't know if I had any control over where we actually got. Well, so we were thinking maybe we would get salt and straw ice cream. I know I was like sugared out, but Becky really wants some ice cream. I, I don't think. know. My, uh, my belly's still. We, we may walk by it and decide once we walk by. We are passing on the salt and straw. Becky's just jam or vibing to the music right now. Not really jamming, but vibing. Yeah, so we're at Salt and Straw, and we're just gonna show you the limited edition flavors. It's called the Chocolatier series. So we came all the way to Disney Springs just so you could wash your hands on the complete opposite on the complete opposite side of where we got trapped up. Like Foley. You're doing great, sweetie. Well, we didn't stay long at Disney Springs. We're back in the room now. We did a lot of walking at Disney Springs, but that's about it. So nothing really to show. Um, but yeah, so that was our uh, day at Universal Orlando. Ended up going to both parks, and we accomplished quite a bit in the one day that we were there. Yeah. All the rides that we wanted to hit, and mm -hmm. some of the food that we wanted to hit. Only had one butter beer each, which is kind of unusual. Disappointing. A little bit, but I'm content with it. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you subscribe so you see our future content. And until next time. Bye. Bye. I give it a tad. Ten, ten out of could not you could not have a better breakfast. That's what that means. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you did it, I can't. <laughs>